Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. We have begun our infiltration of Bowser's Castle. We're taking him from the rear, of course. And, uh, oops. <laughs> An auspicious start. Um, oops. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not doing so swell here. But, um, yeah, if you're ready to, uh, deep, wow, dig a little deeper. I cannot talk right now. It's a good start to the episode. If you'd like to dig a little bit deeper and you enjoy doing that, consider liking the video, commenting, subscribing. I will say this is just something that obviously is, you know, of the moment. But the last episode of this did really, really well. And I'm not entirely sure what causes that to happen. I mean, obviously, I'd like to think it's because of the quality of the content. But, you know, at the end of the day... I know that my stuff isn't for everybody, that's fine. It should be because I'm incredible. But anyway, you know, some people like it, some people don't. I'm on to you people throwing that thumbs down on the video. I'm on to you. But anyway, yeah, it did really well. And I appreciate all the support that I've gotten from people watching it and liking the video. Would like to see more of that though. I am of the belief that obviously the way that the YouTube supercomputer views my content, the more likes and comments and all that stuff that you get the better your content will perform of course so more exposure is always good i'm being paid an exposure right now I'm making roughly zero dollars per video which is fine because i'm not in it for the money but i am in it for the entertainment so if you like these videos any sort of feedback that you can give me commentary would be really appreciated i think you need to use the bird for that that'd be kind of fun actually let me do that any sort of feedback, uh, views are always appreciated, C comments, definitely appreciated, and subscribing, I noticed that, subscri oh, I'm doing really poorly, um, subscriptions have gone up a little bit, getting some more subscribers, I appreciate that, of course, to anybody and everybody who's been following my stuff, from the get-go, all the way till now, I love every single one of you, with all my heart, it's very appreciated, so... All right, how do we do this? Okay, seems a little risky. Oh, and it is, okay. Very cool, yeah, Cappy, all right. Stop acting like you're the only one that's perishing right now. Be in general, just wanted to give a little bit of thank yous and say that I appreciate you for that watchership of my videos. Obviously, I'm just making these for fun because that's what you do when you are the coolest but in reality yeah very sincere thank you um i do appreciate it i don't know what causes videos to randomly like kick up in views or whatever but whenever that happens it does make me very proud to know that you all are watching the videos and enjoying yourselves uh, especially when it's from people that aren't subscribed to the channel obviously i do appreciate my subscribers you guys are my ogs but it is nice when i see People that aren't subscribed to the channel, following around and following around, no. Sticking around to watch, man, I'm just getting hit with everything. And uh, taking the time to actually watch the videos. I do really appreciate that. It is very meaningful to me. And uh, yeah, I guess I haven't really like waxed poetic recently about my content. Cause you know, I, I just enjoy making it. Like really that's kind of the end goal is just to enjoy it and as long as i'm enjoying it that's what matters to me the moment i stop enjoying it is when you won't see it and that's kind of i've gotten to that point a handful of times in the past and even sometimes if i'm being 100 percent honest um i do wind up that way sometimes as well when i am uh when i'm making content on this channel like there'll be times where i where i experience content burnout and fatigue and whatever i'm not always going to have the energy to to make stuff, you know, working full time and still making content. Um, it takes a little bit of, a little bit of uh, throughput, a little bit of extra oomph, but don't worry, that's not a complaint after all. Um, oh, that's very nice. Now, how the heck does it want me to get this? Can I just like suicide into the fire? Whee! Worth it. Let's get these boys out of here while I'm waiting. But anyway, back to Mario. So we have infiltrated some of Bowser's 
fortress here. I don't know if they intended for this to be considered a castle or not. But we've infiltrated some of it. And as I mentioned before, it is a um, kind of a pseudo ancient Japanese temple vibe, I guess. I'm not 100% sure of like eras or like what it's supposed to be reminiscent of. Unfortunately, my Japanese history is basically non-existent. So I got nothing for you there, viewers. Unfortunately, I apologize. But what I do have whoop, is a little sneaky sneaky down here. I'm actually kind of nervous about what this is because I'm not very good with the bird. Oh. Oh, no. Viewers, I was doing it and now I'm not doing it. What? That's okay, that's okay. This is probably pretty late into the video to say this, but... Oh, this takes you all the way back here? Ugh. But yeah, one thing I do notice, and this is something that I see on, like, larger content creators, but they're definitely more... It kind of feels more passive-aggressive, or maybe just aggressive with the way that it gets promoted. Um, I was mentioning before that there's a lot of people that are not subscribed that watch this stuff, and that's fine. Um, I'm not going to complain about it. I know that maybe I shouldn't be so critical of people that are mentioning it because, it, you know, if... Oh, boy. I'm too in my feels right now. I'm not focusing. But, uh, yeah, for the people that make content full-time, which, you know, honestly, if that was my full-time gig, I'd probably be pretty stoked about it. Uh, we're not there yet. Maybe someday. Um, but, yeah, I've noticed is, like, those channels that kind of bemoan... Man, I gotta be more careful. Um, the types of viewership they get, you know, when it's like they're not getting enough uh, following from their subscribers and the not subscribers aren't subscribing and all this stuff. Um, you know, obviously, that's something that I've noticed. There are a, a pretty significant amount of, um, oh, I gotta stop turning around, record amount of deaths in this episode. There's a pretty significant amount of people that aren't subscribed that are obviously seeing the channel. They're getting exposed to it. Thank you for exposing, allowing YouTube to expose myself to people. Um, and have I run into that every single time? I want to say yes. Maybe. I feel like there's a moon down there, though. Ugh. I got to try one more time. Viewers, one more time. One more time. Oh, boy. We're not doing so hot. Ooh. Okay. Well, that was the last shot. I'm not doing it anymore. There's a moon down there, I'm not getting it. But the point that I was trying to make is that I find it interesting that when I look at analytics, analytics is, um, you know, you can see the amount of people that watch your stuff that are subscribed to you or not, which I find is cool. Um, and there's a pretty significant amount of people that aren't subscribed to this channel yet that are watching the videos. Now, in fairness, that's because YouTube is showing the content to new people. That's just how that works, you know, when you get and you make content and people will watch it, there's a good chance that those people aren't people that have seen your stuff before. And if that's the case, it's not bad because you're getting new viewership. But if they like your stuff enough, then hopefully they would want to uh, subscribe, whatever, all that jazz. Up to you guys though, no pressure. Um, I would love to see my subscriptions tick up a little bit more because I know that that means you guys are enjoying what you see and I'm doing the right thing, so. That's the best way to let me know, aside from, uh... Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I, I didn't think it would let me do that, right? Is there, a, is there a moon down there? I can't tell. There's gotta be something back here though, right? You wouldn't put this back here if you, ooh, wait, viewers? Viewers, wait. Ho, oh, viewers. There's a pipe there too. Makes me wonder if this, if the game was expecting you to to get there using that pipe? Or if this leads to something else? Oh, that's just a, a way back sees. Oh, I need the final chip. Chip? Where is it? But yeah, if you haven't subscribed, you know, do that if you want to. I wanna see more comments though. I, I, I occasionally get comments from a few regulars and I appreciate you guys doing that. That means a lot to me actually. Um, seeing your feedback and the things you say usually it gives me a good good warm and fuzzies 
and my cold, dark heart. But in general, no, I really do appreciate feedback and comments. And as all of you, I'm sure, have noticed, if you've been following this channel for a while, I do respond to everything. So most everything. I think there's like occasionally a comment or two that I don't respond to. But I actually have on my YouTube app, you can filter comments you haven't responded to. And I feel like it's pretty rare for me to not respond to something you say. So did I land? Oh my gosh, of course I did. Let's just grab this and get on with it. Another power moon. This is a story one too. Smart bombing. I think that's the area we were just doing. We've got six of them now. Are we a little bit closer to the big bad himself? I think we are. Big brutal battle. Oh boy. With plenty of fart clouds ahead of us. Yeah, this looks like this is probably going to be one of those gauntlet fights where you have to do a bunch of them in a row. Viewers, go ahead and uh, take a second for yourself and guess how well I'm going to do. Answer is probably not great. We actually love a uh, bonus heart expansion moon thing. Maybe I'll get one here. Ooh, the crazy cap. Do we have enough of the... Uh... Ooh, we can fight the Brutals in a new outfit. That would be amazing. Okay. Heart. Ooh, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Yes, I would like that. Because I am real bad. Yes. And as much as I want to pretend like I'm good at this game, I know I'm not. And I'm not going to waste your time. I will not do that. Okay, very cool. Free Power Moon. Shopping at Bowser's Castle. Look at those Hanafuda cards back there. Neat. Oh, yeah. Who's ready to be a samurai? Change now. Samurai helmet. Very cool. Samurai armor. All right. Yeah, this uh, fake language that they're speaking is very strange. But anyway, yeah, these are the Hanafuda cards that I was referring to. It's a card game. There's actually a... Um, a game called like Club 51 for the Switch, which has the uh, Hanafuda is one of the games you can play. Oh, Mario. Look at our boy. Oh, he's so handsome. We did it. All right. There's some birds around here. Still clearly not real. Ooh, hello. You want to get a look? Get a look see to what's going on inside? We are dressed for battle. Let's do a little bit of a bonus before we do this battle. That's a good way to expand this episode. Ooh, looks like it's going to be in 2D. And this looks like maybe this is like a... Uh... Oh, this is amazing. Viewers, look at this. It's like Mario. I mean, it's not like Mario. It is Mario. What is the point of this? And what is this music? Let me be quiet for a second. Okay, that means nothing to me. I have no idea. You can see the birds in the background. Pokey birds. They are hanging out in the background. I'm trying really hard to focus on what I'm doing because for some reason my brain is very scattergories right now. I gotta zone in. It's a little bit late when I'm recording this. That could potentially be it. But no excuses because excuses are for wieners. And I... I'm a huge wiener in the winning sense. That's the only way that counts. All right. So let's grab the musical note and see what this gets us. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be horrible. I've already goofed it. I've already goofed it. I didn't feel good about that. All right. Is this sent me back to the first stage of this? Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? This is kind of cool, though. Having, like, the screen door unfold into a uh ooh, that was dangerous screen door unfold into a setting really nice i don't know what this is referring to in terms of like japanese culture which viewers this is one of those things where you know i know that the comments don't happen very often but if they did this would be one of those cool areas where if you did know something about lore or um just kind of fun cultural stuff that i bring up that I'm half-baked about, obviously, because I'm not very smart. Feel free to chime in on that stuff. Um, 
Oh my gosh. Within reason, though. Um, because one of my things that is, uh, probably one of my biggest pet peeves are the um actuallys of the world. Okay, that was incredible. I did not mean to do that, but that worked out. Anyway, yeah, the um actuallys, the technically correct. Not a huge fan of that. It just kind of comes across. Oh my gosh. I'm dying a lot in this episode. It comes across to me as, like, really pretentious and, uh, you know. Don't get me wrong. If you are an expert in your field and you know something, I am all here for it. I love learning. I love hearing things from people that know more about stuff than I do. I'm not going to pretend to know something about something that... Well, that's not true. I pretend to know stuff about things I don't know a lot about all the time. But if I am in the presence of somebody with an expertise, I will defer to you and I will respect what you say. As long as you respect me and how cool I am. So that's the exchange. Very normal and uh, understandable, I'm sure. All right, so let's try to do this again. Not die. Let's grab the... All right. I think I've already goofed it because of the, the one piece. I don't know how much time they give you. It's not a lot. Ugh, I almost had it, actually. We'll try that one more time. Well, actually, we're going to try it X more times because I want to get it. There's a moon at stake, viewers. All right. That saved some time. That saved some time. Save some time. This is a speedrunning strat, actually. No! <laughs> is it gonna still give it to me or do I have to do it again? Oh, it, oh wait, can I get it though? Oh no. Oh, viewers, what have I done? It has like, there's like momentum, like when I... Okay, I got it. I'm incredible. No worries. But yeah, there's like momentum and the pipe is like, we're getting sucked by that pipe. Usually it's the other way around. All right, so clearly here, um, we got this Cooper that we need to um, bonk and boop and then whoop. nope, a little more, a little more. There we go, a little more. No, that sound of that Koopa hitting that um hitting that absolutely sounded like like hitting the hitting the brick. That sounded like the Super Mario. Two, like the golden coins, it sounded just like that. Also, that's a fantastic game. If you haven't played that, I would say give it a shot. I believe at one point it was on like the 3DS, um, 3DS shop. Probably not available anymore because Nintendo hates you being able to play their uh, former content. All right, so I think maybe if we land and like we line up here, one of these boys. We've got to turn around. Oh yeah. Look at us fitting in. That's quite a few moons though in a short amount of time. I had six to start this, or five to start this episode, and I have way more than that now. Oh yeah. Jeez, oh boy. Get your jizz, jizz -o in a row. I don't know what that means. I guarantee I said it correctly though. Okay. This is a pretty cool entrance to battle. Let's check around here, though. This is something that will become important later. Keep that in mind. It's a bit of a warp panel. Not really something that we're going to utilize in the present, but we will be using utilizing it in the future, a.k.a. the only other option. So... All right, I don't know where I would be using this. Ooh, wait. Is it something underneath it? I saw the glowy light. Huh? I saw something. Where was that? Uh, is it one of those things where I need this? I need this boy to land on it. Maybe. Really? That's it? Or maybe this is one of those like follow the coins. Follow the, follow your nose wherever it goes. That's some sort of a serial thing, isn't it? Like Lucky Charms or something like that? Or tricks? I don't know. Tricks for kids. But you know what's crazy, viewers? Something I learned about, uh... Is that all this was? That's stupid. Something I learned about trick cereal is that everybody associates tricks with the fruit shapes. The original shape of tricks were circles. And by that I mean spheres, because... They are not flat. They are, in fact... 
trace dimensional. 3D. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, I do know what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. If you know what I'm saying. All right, we got to get into that fight, though. The video is running a little long, and I've got a feeling that I've got a whooping to be handed down. Do we just, does the fight begin once we jump onto the platform here? Oh, it got rid of my, my, my bonus heart. What a pain in the buns. All right, here we go, Brutals. This might be a gauntlet. I think I have to fight multiple of them in a row. I did watch a video once of somebody that programmed all of them to fight you at the same time, and that looked terrifying. Winning's almost here. Boss getting ready up ahead. You ain't invited. Well, duh, you big ding dong. All right, let's put her to bed. Toss your bombs at me. Get out of here. Yep. All right. Ha ha, sucks. Got him. In a this is a pretty easy boss. I mean, both of these are pretty pretty easy, but you just gotta make sure you dodge the uh, the the Gbomba tree. Oh, that sounded better in my head. All right, so we gotta be careful here. Wait for these to kind of clear out as soon as we can. We gotta get further away from her. It's kind of hard to. Oh, swinging her big old balls at us. I think those hit her in the face. Yes. Getting hit in the face with your own balls. Okay, and we should be good to go after one more cycle here in this fight. I think you can actually, like, probably do this faster. I'm obviously not doing this in a very meaningful way. Yeah, there. And then she's got her big old balls. You just gotta make sure you get out of the way. And I believe if you smack them. Ooh, that didn't work. Okay, I thought that would. Alright, we can do this, though. Boop, got him. See ya, lady. Bye. Oh, she gone. She turned into uh, star bits. But yeah, I think that we have to do both sides in order to unlock the passageway forward. This is gonna be the other, ooh, I can move this camera around a little bit. I'm gonna fight this doofus. <laughs> Speaking of tricks, rabbits. Oh, it to the family. I'm not entirely sure what ethnicity they're trying to give the Brutals, but it's very weird. All right, so if we remember, we gotta knock this boy's hat right off his fat noggin. And upon doing so, whoop. He will become vulnerable and expose himself. This is why we need therapy. Because sometimes you become vulnerable and you expose yourself. All right, let's get this going. <laughs> I like that sound though. It's very fun. I even leaned into my mic extra close for that one. Oh, there's a lot going on. This is what Super Mario 128 demo was for. Not Pikmin, it was for Mario Odyssey. Oops. I was doing so well not getting hit. Something you're gonna wanna be mindful of though is when you do play this game because, whoops. Oh boy, I don't have to redo this. Um, is that eventually there will be a moment where you may potentially be fighting. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, one more try at that fight. Hopefully it doesn't make me do, redo both of them. That would make me really peeved. I'm gonna assume it doesn't know because the statue's still gone. All right. Yeah, 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 let's go. Round two. We'll take this one a little bit more seriously. Yeah, there will be a future fight with the Brutals, of course that will uh, necessitate you basically not getting hit. So, just something to be mindful of. Oh, it looks like his little radius of uh, attack is severely reduced once you remove his 
his headwear. That's fine. We'd like to be done with this, though. This fight is not really difficult. It is a little, um, a little tedious. Whoops. Yeah, once you get into the Cappy motion, it's really hard to, like, get rid of that. And yeah, that, that's something you're going to want to do. We should do it. Boop. See ya. I like his little uh, purple pompadour. Good complimentary color with that green. And that is two Koopa statues down. And another story moon. Viewers, we've done it. Okay. Looking fly. Oh yeah, the big brutal battle. Although that was only two of them, so I don't really know why they call it that. It wasn't that bad. But up ahead, looks like we're finally going to make it into the in innermost workings of the castle, the showdown of Bowser's Castle. This is actually going to lead to one of the best boss fights in the game. But, viewers, that is something that we will be doing next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I have been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.